These limestone cliffs are home to a mythical walking route, an 18-kilometre trek along the Verdun River. Deep in the gorges, the Blanc Martel Trail attracts walkers of all ages and from all over the world. The five-hour hike begins with a gentle 500-metre downhill stroll, and there are already panoramic views to take in. The scenery is fabulous. It's breathtaking. We've seen plenty of different places, but this... It's beautiful. This is really incredible. Along the way, we meet Rémi and Aurélie, a couple from the Ardèche region. It's beautiful with these huge cliffs and turquoise water. Just knowing that I'll have a dip in the water soon is <laughs> pushing me on. A few more bends in the path brings us to this pebble beach. There's no one around, it's all just for us. Then comes the refreshing waters of the river. It feels good, it relaxes all your joints. <laughs> After this we'll be able to walk for hours, but we'll take a nap in the sun first. As the walk continues, the scenery changes from wooded glades to bare rock. Once you hit the trail, there's no going back, and it's best to come equipped. Here's our survival blanket in case we hit a snag. Some sturdy shoes and our sandwiches for lunch. Anyone can do it, but children shouldn't be too young. You need plenty of water too. We're starting to run out. The trail was first blazed over a century ago by the father of modern caving, Charles-Henri Martel. By boat, his team cleared the path and made it accessible. One of their most impressive achievements was the building of the Breche Ambert staircase with its 250 steps. This dizzying descent brings us to the last part of the trail. In the 21st century, it's by the light of our mobile phones that the 600 metres of this tunnel unfold. There's a sense of peace. It's silent, apart from the sound of water flowing. It's refreshing. When you see how hot it is outside, it's good to be in here where it's cool. 20 kilometers away lies Moustier Sainte Marie. Nestled in the hollow of a rock, this village was built during the Middle Ages. Today, it's an architectural treasure trove. This steeple, for example, is rather rare. The bell tower is pretty remarkable. It was built in such a way that it sways a tiny bit from left to right with the sound of the bells. These houses were built high up in the 14th century in order to save space. A little further on near the stone bridge, a bright little gold star twinkles in the sunlight. It's attached to a chain which links both sides of the mountain. It's the symbol of the village and a reminder of an old legend. There was a knight from Moustier who went on a crusade and was imprisoned by the Muslims. During his captivity, he vowed to offer a star to his homeland if he were ever set free. Water flows everywhere in Moustier. It was once essential for the workings of the many mills that used to be here. Today they've all closed, but different kinds of craftsmanship have sprung up. Maël sells his homemade honey and beer in this small bistro. The thing about Moustier is that it's next to these rocks. The sun rises a little late in the morning. Perhaps it's an advantage for those who want a lion. What's great about this place is that we all know each other. People will lend a hand at the slightest problem. We were all born here. When you're little, you go walking in the mountains. On this hill overlooking the village, he tends to his bees who produce the famous Verdun honey. It's highly sought after because it only comes from here. It's a lavender honey with a mild taste. It has a kick because we leave the thyme honey inside. We make the thyme and lavender honeys together. Nature has helped the community in other ways. Thanks to a clay soil and lots of water, the people of Moustier have become well known for their earthenware. Moustier pottery began in the 18th century and became huge thanks to Louis XIV. He melted all his gold and silver tableware to be able to fight wars and bought this earthenware instead, and Moustier became known in several royal households. There are a dozen workshops in the village, like this one belonging to Franck. Moustier enjoys a global reputation for its high-quality earthenware. This is the finished product. It has the right ping, so we know that it's not cracked. This strange little sound comes after firing. 
Moustier's heritage has been passed down from generation to generation. Huddled together against the mountain, its inhabitants want to keep their history well hidden and preserved. <laughs>